am back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right down below. Hit that post notification bell so you know when your girl is uploading like duh. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. As you guys can see from the title today, I am starting my How to Make an NBA Dance Team series. You know, um, for those of you that don't know, I am a four season vet on the LA Clippers Spirit Dance Team here in Los Angeles. Um, and I am also a professional dancer outside of that. And when I was a kid, I did one season as a Nick City kid because I'm originally from New York. So basically dance is my life and I have a lot of knowledge with auditions. So I want to start this series because I made a video about this topic, I'm, I want to say back in 2020 and i'll link it up here and in the description but from that video the video like low-key kind of blew up um and so many girls have reached out to me throughout the from like 2020 to now about how my video has helped them or just asking for more advice more tips more tricks and so yeah i was just like you know what let me start this series because it is close to audition season like audition season is low-key around the corner um this series is strictly nba based just because i've never auditioned nor have i ever been on an nfl dance team so i just don't feel like i am qualified with helping with that field but i mean you can watch this video if it helps it helps if it doesn't i'm sorry i this is strictly nba just because that's all I can really talk about, you know? So, yeah. Okay, so I have my handy dandy notebook because um, I had to make notes. So this video is going to be about how to prep, prepare for your auditions. Um, I know a lot of you said that like you are auditioning for multiple teams. Maybe some of you are auditioning just for one team. But like I said, hopefully this video can help you. This is just part one. I don't know how many parts it's going to be. But every week I will, well actually I can do every Friday. Every Friday I will upload a new part of this series that can hopefully help you. So that's why you need to have them post notifications on so you know, you know, so you can be alert when I, you know, post. So first things first, you have to know the team that you're auditioning for. And I say that because anybody can say they want to try out for an NBA dance team or just try audition for anything, but you want to make sure that you are pre-qualified to audition for that team, if that makes sense. Um, and I say that because some teams are very more jazz-based and some teams are more hip-hop-based. And you just want to make sure that you know yourself as a dancer enough to say, hmm, I'm not really a jazz dancer so maybe i should audition for a more hip-hop team if that makes you know if that makes sense to you um also before i even get started with the details of this video i just want to put this out there auditioning for an nba dance team auditioning period for any type of dance gig is very hard it's very competitive Especially going into like a dance team where they already have a team. Um, so you could either be a replacement, like you could either take someone's spot or you could be, you know, filling in for what has left, you know, you get what I'm saying? Um, so with that being said, just know that like, if this is not your season, it is all right. That gives you one whole year 
to come back, train harder, and hopefully make the team the next season. I know a lot of people move according to the team that they are auditioning for. And for some people, that works out in their favor. And in some people, it does not. Now, a city like New York, Atlanta, LA, where there is a, a big dance community, a dance industry community in those cities, if you're saying that you want to be a professional dancer and dancing for the NBA is a plus for you, then yes, by all means, go and move to that city because you are able to pursue more dance opportunities. And especially in New York and L.A. because we do, both cities have um, two different NBA teams. But... For cities that may not have a big industry community and you're just saying that you just want to, I'm just going to fly to Utah. I'm just using that as an example. I'm going to move to Utah because I want to be on a Utah Jazz dance team. Just be very careful with that because have, also have plan A, B, C. Because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and God forbid you don't make it. And now it's like, you're kind of like stuck in the city. You don't have a job. You don't have family and friends out there. So make sure that like you have this well thought out if you're planning on moving to the city just for a day, uh, NBA dance team. I just personally would not recommend mo just moving just for the NBA dance team. Like move because like your other job, you're able to move and switch cities like that you know just make sure you have a plan a b and c i hate to see people like heartbroken for not making a team and it's just like dang i moved all the way here and i didn't even make it and now i'm stuck in this city and i don't know what to do you just don't want to put yourself in that predicament that's just number one okay i just have to i just had to i feel like i had to get that off my chest um okay so how to prepare for the auditions. Like I said, you want to study the team, like the dance team and the NBA team. A lot of people don't realize that when you are doing your interview process for these teams, they're going to ask you questions about the actual NBA team themselves, not just the dance team, maybe not even about the dance team at all. They want to see if you can be an ambassador for their organization. So you need to know who are their star players, who's probably their starting five players, who is the owner of the team, who's the coach of the team, you know? You want to know those types of details because nine times out of ten, they're going to ask you about that. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be doing appearances where you're on the news, where you have to hold a conversation about your organization, about your team, and you don't want to be that person that doesn't know anything about your team. I mean, nine times out of ten, you're not going to make it if you don't know any information about the team. But I know um, just from, like, you know, conversations with my – well, she's not really my coach anymore. She's our creative, di creative director. But – one thing I remember her saying about a lot of people is that like they can be the best dancer in the room and and have the look that they want. But when it gets to the um, interview, they don't know how to hold a conversation or they just are not as up to date with their information on the team to the point where it's just like now you just mess your chances up of making it on the team. They need to have people that know about the NBA team themselves. That is going to get you one step closer to being an NBA dancer. So definitely work on that. Um, that's something that I would say you can start now, just learning about the team, the team's history, because like I said, nine times out of 10, they're going to ask you about that okay next 
um, on that same kind of, you know, topic, you want to study the dance team themselves. Stalk the girls. <laughs> Stalk the, the dance team's Instagram. And I say that because you want to... This goes along with my work on your look topic because, okay, you you look at these NBA teams and you look at the team photo. You see that if it's a team of 20, I'm going to go based off of my team because we're a team of, well, we're a team of 19, but typically it's a team of 20. And let's say 15 of the girls are blonde. You don't want to come in there as a blonde because your chances are now slim because say all 15 blondes are coming back for their spot. Yeah, you can you you have the opportunity to outdance somebody and take their spot, but also those chances are very slim. So you want to make sure that like your look doesn't clash. Now granted, maybe you have blonde hair but you have a short cut that is some brownie points to you because you looked at the rock you looked at the team photo and you said hey everybody's hair is long and blonde let me give myself a pixie cut let me give myself a bob you want to make sure that you're you're different than what they already have okay um on top of studying the team for look wise you want to study the team for style what type of outfits do they wear? What type of dance genre do they do? What type of songs do they dance to? And all, I say that to say because I'm going to use Los Angeles for an example. We have the Lega girls and then we also have the Clipper girls. Lega girls are more traditional. They're more jazz, like a jazz based team as to the Clipper girls we're more hip hop, we're more gritty, we're more like LA, the heart the heart of LA, you know? So saying, you know, you want to know the style of the team because you want to be able to take classes and study that team's style, you know? Um which goes on to my next topic of taking class. Um if the team is more jazzy, you want to take more jazz classes. And now if you're somebody who is not really technical based, um, you're not really somebody who is a strong jazz dancer, you definitely want to up your jazz classes. Now, there are teams that do both jazz, hip hop. Some teams do palm. So you may want to look into taking palm classes as well. I don't know where they teach that at, but I feel like certain cities, they probably do have palm classes or honestly, YouTube. YouTube will help you with everything. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to study the team's dance style because you want to make sure you're going in there knowing Okay, this team does hip hop. Nine times out of ten, the audition is going to be hip hop. This team does jazz. Nine times out of ten, the audition is going to be jazz. Now, I do know for our audition, we do across the floor, which is more technical based. You're going to do some turns. You're going to do some some leaps. Um, but we are very hip hop based, so you're going to be doing hip hop for the audition piece. So you definitely, like I said, you want to know the style, the, the dance style of the team. But you also want to know the clothing style of the team. Does your team wear sparkly outfits? Does your team wear more sweatpants, crop top vibes? Does your team wear more booty shorts and, and, and bra top vibes? You want to know that because going into the audition, you want to come game day ready. You want to come looking like you're on the team. So you want to dress appropriately. I know for at least for Clippers, when they put out the flyer for the audition, it does tell you what to wear, um, which is normally like a sports bra and booty shorts. But you don't want to be basic either. You know, you want to, if they're saying sports bra and, and booty shorts for our team, we don't really wear rhinestone stuff. 
So you don't have to come in with a bedazzled competition bra top. You don't have to come in like that. You can literally wear like Nike Pro set, like Nike Pro sports bra booty shorts set. Um, but you want to spice it up a little, you know, you want to show that you have like individual style. Um, I will include some pictures of how we come dressed to our audition. But also that comes with stalking the team's page because you can also go back to, and this is for every team, you can go back and scroll to their auditions to when they had auditions and you can see what the girls wore to auditions if they have pictures up of like their semi-finalists on their Instagram page. Um, so, but yeah, it's like I said, you do want to come in looking like you're already on the team. So, yeah. Also, with studying the team's Instagram, I know that some teams post who's the choreographer for certain routines. And you want to try to take those choreographers' classes, especially if you're in the city that that choreographer is teaching in. Um, definitely want to take those classes because you never know. That may be the choreographer who's teaching the finals um, combination. Or you just want to be comfortable with that style, you know, of dance. Because you can take a million and one hip-hop classes, but not every hip-hop class is the same. Not every jazz class is the same. Some people are more like back-in-the-day traditional jazz teachers, where some people are more like street jazzy but still jazz so you want to be able to take all different kinds of foundation classes just to help you with your style because you don't know what's what version of jazz or what version of hip-hop you want to get definitely take popping classes you want to take locking classes you want to take dance hall classes you want to take ballet classes you want to take contempt you want to take modern there's different kinds of moderns you want to take jazz class you want to make sure that you're coming in well prepared even if the team is only a one style based team you still want to take classes in other styles because you just never know what the audition will have for you you know you never know some teams may want to switch it up and be like, hey, we want to teach you guys a hip-hop routine. Even though they're a jazz-based team, they just want to see, are you a well-rounded dancer? You know, we do have theme nights throughout the NBA. Um, so you want to be able to grasp the style of whatever that theme night may be. And you don't want to be that person that's on the team but is not really well-rounded because then you won't be on a lot of games if that you know, you just don't want to be that person. So definitely take class, like take class, as much class as you can. I know, you know, finances, everybody's finances is different. But like my mom always told me, it takes money to make money. And if this is your dream, if there's a will, there's a way. Trust me. Um, if you can't really afford to take classes, maybe ask the studio if you can work there, you know, like or intern sweep or something to you know use that as a credit for you to take class um or just i know a lot of, like okay prime example that's the car he has his own app where he uploads his um classes and he does um like tutorials of whatever his class combinations were and you can learn that way there's also like Steezy, I think that's what it's called. They have like a website or an app where you can learn from different choreographers on there. So there's there's ways or just YouTube, you know, if you really if you really just don't have the funds, there's you people post like YouTube, but you just want to make you want to make sure that you're taking classes from reputable people. You know what I'm saying? Like not to discredit anyone. But you want to just make sure, like, you're not taking class from someone that's really not qualified in that style. Okay, so along with that, work out and eat clean. Um, yeah. 
your body is your temple. <laughs> so you definitely want to work out. You definitely want to eat clean. I don't know how long it's going to be for this whole mask mandate. I know some teams don't have to wear masks, um, but I don't know how long this mask mandate is. And I can tell you it is not easy dancing in a mask at all. It's like not easy. So you definitely want to train your body to be able to dance in a mask. So hit the treadmill in a mask, hit the bike in a mask, hit the elliptical in a mask. Um, but in general, working out, you do want to have like a little bit body definition. I'm not saying that you got to come looking like built, stacked, like no, but you do want to show that you're fit. Okay, um, I feel like pretty much every team shows their abdomen. Um, you don't have to have a 12 pack. You don't have to have no pack because I don't have a pack. But you want to, but you also don't want to be flabby at the same time. You don't want to have like super like jiggly arms, jiggly legs. Like you do want to be toned just a, a little bit. But that also goes with eating clean, especially like that month before that audition the month before and the month of that audition you for sure want to be working out you for sure want to be eating clean um i know for me like unless i'm training with a trainer i'm just not a gym girl like i'm not i will admit that all my friends will tell you like i am not a gym girl unless i have a personal trainer but taking classes like soul cycle has really helped me Taking classes like Rumble has really helped me. I know Rumble is in New York, Philly, and LA. I don't know if there's in any other cities. I know Soul Cycle is pretty much everywhere. Um, when I was auditioning for my rookie season, yoga really helped me with like stretch wise. Um, Cause I'm really not the most flexible dancer, but that definitely, I did hot yoga and that definitely helped me. Um, prepare it. It helped me sweat out like toxins, all of that. So I definitely do recommend yoga. You can also do Pilates because that's going to help strengthen your core. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to be fit. You know, you don't want to feel uncomfortable. You don't want to have to make other people make you feel uncomfortable. So just make sure you come fit. Now, with the working on your look, going back to that, like I said, you don't want to look like the average person on the team, you know, or you don't also, you also don't want to look like the, the everyday girl at the audition either, you know, you want to be the person that stands out from the crowd, whether it's your haircut, your, your hair color, your your outfit all of that you want to make sure that like you just stand out also your dancing is going to stand out like uh you're the bomb.com you know but you want them to be like yo oh girl with the yellow even if they don't even remember your number but they know that you had on yellow they're going to be like she's something i like yellow girl you know um so you want to make sure that one you're wearing a color that's flattering for you and your skin tone. Um, I know a lot of, I've gotten a question on Instagram and a girl asked me like, should she wear the colors of the team? I don't really think it's a requirement. I don't know for, uh, I don't know about other teams, but I know for like Clippers, I don't remember that being like a requirement on our audition sheet flyer. But if, unless it says come in team colors, you don't have to. If you want to, just know somebody else is going to come in the team colors. So you want to make sure that you don't have on a basic outfit in the team colors. You, you want to make sure you do spice it up. Um, I know that I included earlier on some pictures of different like audition outfits. So you want to kind of like, like I said, you want to spice it up, you know, have like one of those like cropped hoodies on top or like a fishnet something. You just want to make sure you want to, you just want to spice up your outfit. You don't want to be like plain Jane. And you really don't even have to spend that much money. Like you can go to Forever 21. 
I got my last season's audition outfit at Fashion Nova. And you know, Fashion Nova stay having a sale. Um, I know a lot of people have asked me, do you need multiple outfits for multiple days? Um, that you can... But I know a lot of people re-wear their outfit because they feel like that's the most recent memory um, that people have of you. Um, I know some people asked me, should their outfit be the same outfit as your headshot? It really doesn't have to be. I use my regular headshot that I use for... Um, you know, like my professional dancing pictures. Um, so you don't have to, you, you literally don't have to have the same, the same outfit on in your headshot that you're currently wearing. Plus, once you make it to like semifinals, se yes, once you make it to finals, I guess you could say, they will take a picture of you. So they'll have which they'll have a picture of you in that outfit already. Plus, like this picture is gonna be very raw because it's most likely gonna need to be taken on a Polaroid camera or an iPhone. So they're getting the real you and not the professional picture you, you know. Which is why I say you want to make sure you work out because if you get professional pictures taken and they nip and tuck, and at the audition, you're not really looking like that. You don't want to, them to be like, oh, she's a catfish. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you definitely work out. But yeah, you really don't have to wear the same outfit if you don't want to in your headshots. But I I mean, the audition, you can and you can't. I don't think it would hurt you if you switched up your outfit. But it's that is really up to you. Um, I know some teams do like a week long process. Some teams do two weeks worth of a process. Like some teams make you go through boot camps. Our team, it's two days. Um, so every team has their own length of their audition process. So you definitely want to have, if it's on the longer side, you definitely want to have multiple outfits. But I feel like once you make it to their boot camp, they will probably tell you what to wear, which I've seen some teams, they just wear all black. So you want to make sure you do have all black options. Um, also, it's good to have all black options because when you do make the team, I don't know about every other team, but for my team, we have to wear all black to court practice anyway. So it's always good to have all black um, athletic wear um, options as well. But yeah, I think that kind of like covers the how to prepare part of it um you guys can always hit me in my dms on instagram or you can leave a comment down below i always answer people my instagram is at i am Nia imani the link will be in the description as well um but yeah you can always ask me questions um i am available for privates as well so you can hit my DMs or you can email me at my email, which is info at niaimani.s.com if you want to um, set up a private with me. Um, we can just go over a lot of different things in privates. Um, we can work on kip-ups, head springs. Um, we can, I know some teams may require a solo, so we can work on um I don't, I wouldn't choreograph your solo, but if you have a solo, I can, you know, like help you punch it up. I can help you. I can just give you like critiques on it. We can, we can do privates about interviews where we can do like a mock interview. We can just do all different kinds of privates, a freestyle private, because I know they're going to ask you to freestyle. And I know for sure, like for me, like that is probably like the most I don't know, it's weird. For me, freestyling is like, when I think about it, it's like the most like, ah, like I get so shy to freestyle, but then once like the music comes on and I'm out there, I just black out and I just, I just go off for a freestyle. So we can work on that as well. Just building your confidence. You can, we can do a makeup private. Um, Cause that's what also, I was also gonna say, if you're not confident in 
doing your makeup, watch YouTube tutorials, because that's how I got good at doing makeup, even though my makeup's not done today. But watch makeup tutorials on YouTube. Also, I know that Mac and Sephora also does classes, makeup classes. So you can also do that. I know a lot of um, freelance makeup artists also teach. They also do one-on-one -on -one makeup um, classes where they teach you how to apply makeup. So definitely spend your money on doing one of those. But also, you can, like I said, we can do a private where we can talk about makeup. We can just, you know, go through that as well. But yeah, hit me up if you ever need like anything, like literally any advice. I'm always, I'm always here for you guys. I want to see truly, I want to see everybody win. Like I want to see every person that watches this video or watch any video in my series win i want y'all to make these teams and even if you don't make the teams i want y'all to get all the way to finals and be like you know what i have no regrets i left it all on the dance floor and i'm gonna come back you know um but yeah my next i'm gonna just like my next couple of videos in this series is just is definitely gonna be like um like a makeup tutorial um hairstyles maybe i'll ask some of the girls on my team like former teammates and current teammates to you know jump on a video with me um and they can like tell you their experiences and stuff like that um but yeah just stay tuned have those post notifications on i'm gonna upload um videos for this series every friday um I don't know how many videos it's going to be. Um, but yeah, hit me in my DMs, book private, comment down below, um, share this video with a friend. But yes, I love you guys so much. And train, train, train. Please stay safe out here. You know, Rona is still roaming the streets. Um, but yes, I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.